Alright, well, welcome you guys to our Crown of the Gods weekly stream. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, we are in the beginnings of Beta 3. Um, things seem to be going well. Uh, we did have a bit of a, uh, a time starting, but uh, it kind of served as the load test that we wanted to run. So <laughs> Yes. Because, uh, you know, we wanted to do a, a big load test, but we didn't get as many people interested as long in at the precise moment for the log test as we did for the uh, for the third beta so it, it gave me a lot of good data um, and I know kind of where I need to change things around and, and what to fix and perhaps I need to be more trusting in, in Mongo and, and take out the uh, the SQL database stuff in there because that's what was stopping it so mm. it's uh, what I do is kind of like writes simultaneously to the sequel and to the Mongo, uh, just because I don't fully trust Mongo as much as I do. Um, yeah. So it kind of just overloaded the database, trying to write that much information. That's why it kind of leveled out after uh, people kind of got in. Um, but you know, I've been thinking up different ways of, of doing the you know, instant rush for um, servers when we get into the lives so it helped a lot to actually have that problem as painful as it was for some people it uh certainly helped it was us pretty a lot. painful <laughs> so yes. uh you know all types of ways of, of maybe pre-generation of, of player accounts and player cities before it actually starts so maybe doing it you know an hour before you know and have people say I'm going to do it at this time, or I want to be on the server and then doing it an hour before and, and getting all their cities and stuff loaded so that everybody can just log in instantly um, because I kind of remember a problem like that with uh, with other games that we won't mention where uh, there'd be this instant rush and all of a sudden you've got you know 2,000 people on a server and nothing works because you know it's all kind of going crazy so uh, I'm sure we can come up with a clever way in the next couple months to uh, to make it so that it doesn't do that in the future. Sounds good. Yes. And I think that's kind of the same load issue that we had with the, uh, the uh, you know, disappearing and town, uh, level 10 town halls. Basilicas, yes. Uh, basilicas, yes. <laughs> that's yeah. I, that's what I said. Oh, I'm sorry. I never heard you. <laughs> um, it's my accent. <laughs> it's very hard to understand. Yeah. Um, yes, the level 10 basilicas. Um, it was kind of just uh, some code that I had put in long ago. It was kind of like a backup code. So if somebody's uh, basilica disappeared, it, it automatically replaced it. Um, and just so happens I replaced it as a level 10. So I had to get that code out. Um, yeah. And then find the issues, um, which I found, uh, that were making them disappear in the first place. Which was uh, basically naming variables the wrong things. Um, I'm really, really shocked that it has never um, come up before. Especially in all the testing we did in the meantime. But then again, it was in a, a area of code that was relatively new. So, it was in the area of code around the... Uh, putting in the level 10 uh, temple rewards and stuff like that that was causing the issue okay so interesting that it never happened before but yeah great that it's fixed well you know really if it was going to happen it would have happened in the last um, you know couple days of uh, our testing that we did I so, see okay you know I'm surprised it didn't happen in our regular speed test because the code was kind of the same then, but I think it was uh, something that I might have added toward the end. Some, you know, maybe it just missed. Yeah, maybe so. But it's good. That also, we uh, didn't everyone have um, like instance level ten basilicas in whatever city they landed anyway? So I guess it wouldn't have um, people wouldn't have noticed. Uh, they did, but not for the last test we did right before, because we did the. Oh, sorry. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The regular Strange. speed oh, startup test but then i was also changing yes. things during that test so it might have been one of the things that i changed 
Well, good that we got it figured out and didn't need any uh, second reset or anything, which I think a lot of people were worried would be needed. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a lot of work. Um, <laughs> I was running around like a chicken with his head cut off yesterday. But uh, <laughs> it's, it's good that we get these things fixed in the beta because we don't want them during the lives. And uh, this is really what beta is for. And we'd never had that kind of server load before um, at any time. So, um, you know, getting the data on that and seeing what what the bottlenecks actually were um, is the important part. Because you can guess yeah. as much as you want, but uh, until you actually see the bottlenecks, um, you really don't know what's going to stop something. Right. And, and Gordy and Ella have no more hair left. They've pulled it all out. <laughs> <laughs> Gone gray, yes. So we've both gone gray and uh, <laughs> we've got wrinkles. My yeah. fingers hurt. I'd say they do, my God. I, I did. I woke up with a hand cramp um, this morning. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> but it did kind of all calm down. Um, after we got kind of the issues fixed and it seems to be running great now uh, you yeah. know it does all of the uh, little issues that people are reporting are like really quite minor so um, now that we're over that first pretty major speed bump um, all seems to be going really well yeah things like the alliance forums and stuff that I need to fix um, yeah I did fix reports um actually no somebody else said it that they're not getting their reports they're lying. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this lie. I'm trying to defame my character. Um, yeah, I did put in a new system for reports. Um, and basically, it was a, is a way to save people the load time as well as um, to save some server. So um, basically, what it does is the first time you click reports when you log in, you know. For, to the game, it loads uh, the first 100, or the last 100 reports you had, and then I don't have a lot of reports. But as you scroll down, um, it'll show the hundred, and when you get to the bottom, it'll load the next hundred. Uh, after that, um, then when you press press reports again, um, it will show the. Uh, see, that's the problem right there. Um, it will add onto the top the newest reports, so that way you're never pulling a whole bunch of data. Um, which can slow things down and log up the game and things like that. So uh, it'll only uh, just pull the data necessary. Uh, and most people don't want to see old reports anyways. They just kind of want to see the newest ones. So uh, this way it only loads kind of what people want to see. Okay, so a couple of people in chat there saying that um, they know people who are still having some reports issues. So I guess... Yeah, yeah and I can see here too because it's... Uh, when I'm pressing the reports button again, the same report is coming back up. So the timing isn't correct yet. I'll have to okay. change it. Um, Hi, Dave's has a nice question. Uh, hypothetical, if at the end of beta testing, if there's still a lot of bugs, are we going to go to live game or are we going to do another beta? Alex? Um, I don't think, honestly, I don't think that we will have a lot of bugs at the end of this beta testing. Um, I mean, if magically we somehow do, then yeah, I guess we can uh, look at the situation again then. Um, as it stands, we're kind of, uh, we're planning to go into live release. Um, the first world in our live release will be open beta, so anyone can join. So, I mean, there might be a couple of straggling bugs there, but um, I, I, to be honest, I don't really see much more than that. But we'll yeah, still have pretty much on schedule. Yes. We'll still yeah, just have the report bug if, um, yeah. in, in there. So that I, I if, think I think the report a bug will stay in uh, the game pretty much permanently. Uh, I agree. We're, we're yeah. going to use it for uh, report a player or report anything like that. So like yeah. anytime somebody wants to report somebody or report an issue or report a cheater, uh, they'll use that link. Uh, but basically, what Alice said is, you know, we're going to still have um we're gonna have a live release but still call it a beta it'll just be open to everybody um and that way you know if anything needs to be polished it's still labeled the beta uh and i guess uh world two will um will be the 
non-beta, I don't know what you call it, after live, uh, after beta, but... Yeah. It'll be that. Yes. <laughs> um, something I'd like to do is figure out, like, Firefox or something. It's just Firefox is so screwed up that I don't know how much we can actually do for it. Um, it it's just they've really messed up the way that Firefox handles the HTML5 and garbage collection um, and it spikes memory through the roof and everything I read online says you know it's an issue of, you know across HTML5 games with Firefox and uh, I would bet that before we could get around to actually coding it um, Mozilla will get around to patching it and fixing Firefox because if you remember when we first started doing this, uh, Firefox worked great. Um, yeah, it did. For the game. It was like it, it, display was actually the only problem with Firefox that they kind of do their um, styling a little differently, and that was like the only issue. And now it's like completely screwed up. So it's um, it's definitely something that happened in the last few patches, and I have seen a lot of complaints on it on the uh, forums or on their yeah. forums. So um, they'll get around to fixing it. Well, I, I've heard it from a lot of people that play other browser games, too, is that it just won't work anymore for any games. Yeah, and I have the same issue with, like, uh, using Firefox just for regular sites. It's so much slower than Chrome is, and it used to be a lot faster. Yeah, I, I was really disappointed with Firefox this last uh, update. It was really bad. You know, um, something that might be an option is, uh, you know, we can detect if somebody's using Firefox and... Uh, you know, maybe like a, a port to a flash, um, because I think that you know there's there's ways out there that are pretty simple to uh, to port an HTML5 game into a flash game. Uh, so that's maybe something that we we look into in the future if Firefox doesn't fix it. Because I know some people like to use it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, a couple of people have been complaining that it means that they have to have two browsers open and it's kind of inconvenient. So yeah. Yeah. And I am with them. I used to be a, you know, all Firefox. I never opened Chrome at all. Um, yeah, me too. But I kind of switched over as, you know, they kind of muck things up. Yeah. <laughs> In the, the last uh, three months or so, I don't think I've opened Firefox at all now. Anymore. No, I don't either. It just, it just doesn't, it, why bother? I, I'm tempted to remove it to get rid of the usage. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, Microsoft did a great job with Edge, and I think they're only going to make it better. So it's about time Microsoft, you know, started doing stuff right. I love Edge. I'm telling you, I the the whole drawing on your web page thing was the clincher for me. So uh, and the game <laughs> runs well in Edge, uh, with no issues. In fact, I'm running it on Edge right now for the stream. How are you? Mm. Yeah. So you I, go. I mean, it's got very no issues cool. at all. It's very. Uh, quick. It, it runs very much like uh, Chrome and Opera do. Uh, it's got great memory management. So, um, you know, that's, that's actually the best thing possible for us because um, as kind of the old operating systems get phased out, um, I'm pretty sure that anybody who uh, had 8 automatically went to 10 just because 8 sucks so bad. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but eventually, they just wanted to get as far away from it as possible. I know, I did. It was like I was excited just to get it off my tablet. <laughs> the, the problem with Edge, I think, that they're going to run into is that people um, are so distrusting now because IE was so bad that they're not even going to give Edge a try. I didn't. And, um, I switched it off my um, like uh, main browser like straight away and just haven't been back onto it since. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah. It, it's... Um, it's just one of those things that, you know, IE never worked right. It was just, it was always awful. And so people don't even want to give the tried edge. They uh, hear Microsoft and they go, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> to uh, Anarchy's statement, no, it's, uh, I wouldn't actually uh, make the game go flash. What I would do is just make it so that if somebody logged on from Firefox, uh, the game would show as flash and not... So if you logged on to Chrome or any other browser, you know, it would stay as it is now. Whereas if you went uh, just through Firefox, then it would kind of port to Flash. No, I wouldn't make this a Flash game. I don't like Flash very much either. Yeah, no. Also, aren't they, like, phasing it out now? I don't 
working on it, yeah. Yeah. Um, Indy asked a little while ago, um, are we going to be fixing the uh, alliance leader issue that uh, you can only have one first leader? So it basically means that uh, people who are first leaders who want to step down uh, can't because they can't promote someone else to take over from them. So. Um, I can check it, but I'm pretty sure I fixed that. Oh, okay. Glass Cell, are you talking about in-game forums or our website forums? I would imagine he means the in-game forums. They are a little bit in 1994. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I would imagine so. To be honest, we, we can like get them working as they are first, just kind of the bare skeleton of them, and then we can prettify them up from there. Uh, can you accept that invite? Uh, yes. But yeah, the forums need a, a, a lot of work, and it's actually quite difficult um, to make your own forums, just because there's so many threads and facets, and every alliance has their own and kind of stuff. Um, so really, we wanted to get them working first, and I think there's a few more bugs left in them. But then, um, you know, Alec can go in there and style them around. And, exactly. You know, maybe we can make it look differently, so you actually get you know, drop downs and threads from this form menu so you don't actually have to like click through multiple windows or, you know, this yeah. is basically just a placeholder to get things working and going because um, it's not uh, a fundamental part of the game. Pretty much, yeah. I know um, Fact had some ideas about um, better things that we could do, so uh, once we have them kind of in place and working, we can make them nicer. Um, Glass has an interesting suggestion about making it a separate tab, like overviews. Could that work? Yeah, it could kind of be like too many tabs then, if you're having like the game open and overviews open and forums, like alliance forums open, and maybe site forums as well. It kind of becomes a lot of tabs, but yeah, maybe we can uh, see what people want. Yeah, it, it just kind of, um, I don't know, it seems like a bit much. I think one extra tab is fine for overviews, but if you start tabbing out everything, um, and also because... The, the, they kind of fit in a window. It's not like uh, with overviews, there was like a lot of information and it kind of didn't look good just as an in-game window, whereas forums, it kind of, it, it does work, so... Yeah. I think it just needs a little bit of styling here and there. Pretty much. Uh, you know, maybe put in some, uh, you know, put in that the same thing that I put in for mail so people can style it with, uh, you know, actual, you know, goes into HTML. Yeah. We can do that. Um, we need to do that somewhere else as well. Internal announcements and um, alliance profile is the other place we need to do that. Yeah, so it gives people the same, you know, ability Options to... Options uh, that they have in mail, yeah. Make them bold. Because I really like the, the mail kind of yeah, me too. thing we have. Mm-hmm. Very should nice. make it pretty easy, but I do need to get in there and fix all those things like cords and uh, share reports and all the other stuff. All the links, yeah. Yeah. Um, exports to CSV for stuff. Uh, was that for the blessings and incoming and outgoing attacks? Oh yeah, I haven't gotten into overviews yet. Uh, I figured that was something I would probably do like next week or something. Um, kind of during beta, yeah, exactly. Just kind of during beta because it's easy for me to update and I can just kind of throw them in and it doesn't affect gameplay so much. So yeah. if there's a bug in overviews, it doesn't hurt people the same as when their basilicas disappear. Oh, it means like um, number of enemy castles on a continent or something. Um, I don't know. Um, Is that something we want to have an export to CSV? You know, I because people had brought that up before about um, you know being able to look up everybody's castles, and you know, on one hand, it's you know readily gainable information. 
because you can just kind of click through rankings and look where everybody's cities are and, and write them down. At the other hand, it's you know it might be a little bit much to put that into overviews and allow everybody just to easily uh, download everybody's locations and and things like that. So I still haven't quite decided if there's going to be a full you know download all of the world data kind of thing. Um, so I don't know, just haven't made up my mind yet on that one. Lady Kay asks, um, is world map going to be fixed? I think, yeah, a couple of people have been uh, reporting issues with seeing world map. I really don't know. For most of them, uh, one time straight refresh, no cache clear anything is helping. Um, there's been a very few people who it, it hasn't worked for. So it's, it's like catching on loading where they see the continents and the water but not the cities on it. So like it stuck, sticks right there where you have it before it actually fills in. Oh, okay. And doesn't show anything? People. Right. And doesn't show anything. Okay. So just the continents and the water and the rivers and nothing else on it. Uh, maybe the next person who has it or something can uh, give me their sub and I can see if it's some kind of error or something. I don't know. Okay. Uh, like I said, um, for almost everybody, a one-time straight refresh has been fixing it. So it might be that it's taking a while for the browser to download and save the Im images. I don't know. Or I don't know. <laughs> you know more about it than I do. <laughs> I think that's probably something like uh, what it is. Uh, download the world map like as a picture. Off-site version of the world map. Oh, uh, yes. Other, other got in those. the overviews, he wanted uh, to be able to get like a, a clickable version of the world map so you could hover over it and see what coordinates are there and like download things off of it to CSB. Uh, there was I, one like that for other games. I'll tell you what, if somebody wants to make one, I'll be <laughs> happy to help them uh, with a data port. Cool. So, if anybody would like to volunteer for that, um, I'd be more than happy to help with a, you know, some kind of, uh, you know, backend access or something. Very cool. And that's kind of the, you know, the idea is we can make the base of the game. We can add in stuff as much as possible, but, you know, the the nature of the game is that, you know. We really expect, you know, other programmers and other people to uh, create scripts and, and customize the game for people so people can choose different customization options um, on top of the base game. And that's one of the things that I loved about, you know, other games is that, uh, you know, you could pick and choose the things that you wanted to add or not add. And, and you know, people are going to come up with good ideas that I didn't have um, and things to do. Um, and so if we, you know, do a script market and things like that, it will, uh, it will allow people to be creative and create creative things and at the same time allow us to give it to people um, in a safe environment. Um, also something that's easy for people who aren't tech savvy to put in. Um, Indy asks, will there be a way to make another forum rather than the four that we just have now as standard if we try to add a new forum now it asks us to enter a value and actually i've just replicated that here that uh, i tried to create a new forum and uh, nothing happened huh that was working yeah it was i remember that huh it looks like that's true <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, uh, that's actually been ticketed. So I'll get in there and dig around in forms uh, pretty soon. Cool. Um, Proxy and Dragon ST have the uh, world map problems. Gordy, if you want to talk to either one of them about it, um, refresh didn't fix. Okay. Um, if they could just uh, send me a sub or something after the stream, I can uh, jump in and kind of take a look. Excellent. See if there's some kind of issue going on because I know, like, uh, at one point, um, I was having problems with uh, world map if like you weren't in an alliance, so maybe there's some thing that they have with their account that's uh, causing an error. 
Yeah. Glycel just put the link for that the other the world map from the other game. Yeah, that that was actually created yeah. before um, the game had a world map of its right. own. Um, so it kind of made its own. Somebody made their own world map based on the data it pulled. Uh, but yeah, if somebody wants to make one of those, I'm more than happy to help. All right, Proxy got her map fixed. So now we're down to Dragon. <laughs> Nihonto wants to know if we'll be making um, mailing lists for continents or like if you will be able to make your own mailing lists. Um, yeah, I'm sure. You know, if, if you're in an alliance that you can just mail everyone on C22 and not the people on C32. Yeah, that would be kind of neat. Um, yeah, we could do that. Because let me tell you, what, I've made those mailing lists for continents to put in the forums so people have them, and they are a pain to make those <laughs> mailing lists for everybody to be able to copy and paste. Um, I'm trying to think about how we would do that. Because we've got lots of space on that little window. Yeah, we do. Would you be able to pull the ranking or pull the data out of rankings to put in the mailing list? Uh, well, it's not so much pulling the data. It's more about how to set up a, um, you know, more to set up the UI for options on how to, on who to mail to. Um, I would guess just a drop down menu. A drop down menu or over yeah, like you know, a, like a select uh, like only mail the players from and then like a you know a select box where you can select the continent that you want to mail the players on okay or maybe a check box with all the players too and you could just check or uncheck the people you want to send to um that's a lot of check boxes though and you wouldn't necessarily know which uh continents certain people were on that's true i think so yes. a, a didn't drop down sigamets board. Didn't Sigamet's uh, script have continent mailing lists in it? I think it did. So there, there came maybe from somewhere, you yeah. can ask him how he pulled that. Well, it's not pulling the data. Totally it's, how to, it's, it's how no. to display yeah. it. I think right. it would just, like, just a drop down would be fine. Like okay. players from C22. Yeah, because the pulling of the data is it's easy. It's, the, uh, it's giving people the option to select it. So, yeah. okay. I, think, I think it would be okay. Ed would like a ranking for enemy castles captured in the reputation. I wanted one of those too. I was rejected. <laughs> um, yeah, what do we have now? Hang on. Enemy castles captured. Yeah, I don't know. We already have a lot of combat rankings. Maybe. Well, Ed, if you want it, you have to uh, petition Alla. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not making the tab. <laughs> so if she won't make the tab, I can't make it work. Um, Doc wants to point out that if you go look at player information and city tab, it always shows someone else's city. I have not noticed that. If I go to player information, like if you... And then the city tab. So like if you click someone's name. Okay. I have not had that happen, but Shadow Lord says if you change to a different tab, the correct information then shows. I cannot replicate. Oh, Shadow says it was showing the previous player he viewed. Oh, maybe it was just. So, as in, if you have City Tab already open, like on someone else's player information, and then you click a new player information, I still can't get it to do that. No, it looks like it switches for me. Maybe it's just some kind of lag thing. Or sometimes if, you, if it's me or Gordy that you're selecting, it might not work because our names are a bit weird. Mm. Try mine, because you fixed mine so it's not weird anymore, right? I think 
Gordy did, yeah. Because I'm not having whisper problems. People are getting first lines of whispers through, too. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Glasso would like rankings for it. Most popular player, meanest troll, and cutest couple. Oh, jeez. <laughs> We're gonna have to add Rex and Ed as the cutest couples. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think that's probably just a lag thing, or a lag thing. Hey, Zach says that um, Crown's history are not showing for him. A couple of other people have also said that. Um, if one of the people who is experiencing that wants to um, screenshot their console, their JavaScript console, that would be awesome because I think it might be some kind of error with the plugin that we're using. If uh, uh, you're not getting the tooltips. Oh, the tooltip errors. I thought they weren't seeing the actual um, castle. Oh, maybe that's or the it. actual crown. The actual crown. Oh, maybe then. Okay. So, Why would that be? Probably also a JavaScript error. It probably is. Um, <laughs> and I don't know why. Yeah, a couple of people have reported that. And especially because it's consistent, um, I could see if it works sometime and not other times because, you know, different servers that you're on. But since it's consistent, um, it tells me it's got to be something with players' accounts or something. Yeah. Oh, uh, Ninja Chicken just said his popped up. He's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> it pops right up for me. Yeah, me too. Okay, Glass says he's got the crown, but no, uh, no oh, hoverbox okay. over it. That, so it's two different problems. There's some people that are getting no crowns at all showing in player history, and then other people that are getting the picture of the crown, but no tooltip. Or maybe I'm just understanding people wrong and they are getting the crowns, just not the top tips. Oh, Shadow Lord says he doesn't see anything in his history. Does he have a crown? I think so. He was in beta too. Okay, well, we'll try out Opera after this and see if maybe it's an Opera thing. Or I could try it now. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, he has a crown. And it shows right up for me. Yeah. Tooltip and all. Oh, uh, maybe it's a crumb thing. Huh. Okay, well we can try it. I'll try it off right here now. Hang on. Damn multiple browsers. Yeah. And I had to take Opera off when I put Edge on because it was just using up too much disk space. And uh, I think I'm going to take um, Firefox down and put Opera up. <laughs> Yeah, you do actually have to hover, like, the crown area and not, like, the other area. Yeah, just the actual square that has the crown in it. No, Shadow Lord says he's on Chrome, not Opera. Huh. So it's not an Opera thing. Yeah, no, I, I think uh, the people who are having the issues are on Opera. I'm on Chrome and I'm not having any issues with it anyway, so here, I'll try Opera. I'm logging in to the game now. No, Shadow Lord says he's on, he's, he's in Chrome. And still not. Ah, I see. Okay, that's strange. I think it's some kind of a uh, error with the tooltip, and uh, it probably has something that's to do with it. the uh, with some sort of error in the player account that we're not seeing, because that's the only reason why it would show for some and not others. Yeah. So it probably requires a sub, um, just like the reports did. Okay. Yeah. So shadow, can you send him the? Uh Sub request, please. Yeah, and I'll do that after um, <coughs> uh, after we're done with the uh, stream. Yeah, and Dragon ST should have already sent you a sub request too to look at world map. So but here's Sag has a link. Yeah, we can get all that stuff fixed. Yeah, I mean that that's definitely not um game breakers. Well, the world map just is kind of nice to have. Well, yeah. Yeah, Zag's completely empty. He has nothing there in history. No picture, nothing. Huh. 
Having just gone into Opera, the yeah, the tooltip works for me in Opera, so I guess it's player specific or something. It is. Yeah, and Shadow Lord okay. has the same thing. Okay. Just nothing there. <laughs> Cool. I mean, that's that's a good catch. Good yeah. fix now. Yep, that's why we have betas. Oh, yes. Dragon said that his world map loaded after a, a delay, so he's fixed. You know, we're out Yay. of people with world map problems. So it's just a loading thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so the city Very tab doesn't load. load. Ah, so the whole player information isn't loading for them. So that is an error. Oh, okay. okay. And you know, some people have actually also in tickets been reporting that the first, like the uh, stats tab also wasn't loading, so maybe it's uh, just kind of across the board. Yep. I've actually gotten a couple of tickets about that. I think I did put in trade cancellation. Didn't I? Yeah, you yeah. Did. Okay. I couldn't remember. <laughs> yeah, that, that's been in for a while. It was in for beta too, wasn't it? Uh, yes. Was it? Oh, it, we, we put it in, um, like the third week of beta two. It just not for counselor trades, right? Uh, I can't remember. No, I think <laughs> it should work for any of them because they're all kind of the same. Well, presumably, except for, um, what do you call them? Uh, temple. Market trades. Oh. Yeah, you can't cancel the market trades. Um, I guess I you can, can cancel, cancel temple trades. Yeah. Well, sweet. Yeah, and I'm thinking I'm going to have to put some kind of cooldown on that board declaration. Because apparently people are spamming it. Ah. <laughs> Oh yeah, if you send a hit at a boss um, and then recall it, it counts as a boss hit. That boss goes away. Mm -hmm. um, that but it shouldn't count as a boss hit in rankings. No, right. it doesn't count in rankings, but the boss does go away if you launch an attack. Because they're kind of one uh, yeah. off sends. So once you send at it, it means nobody else can hit the boss. So you could troll people through uh, portals that way in other games. I know. Oh my god, that's I've so smart. It. I never thought of that. That's hilarious. I I done it. Not that it's the nicest thing in the world, but I've done it. <laughs> it is by design. <laughs> oh, that's war for you. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh look, I have a castle of uh, magic troops that has nothing to do here. <laughs> we take all your bosses. Um, other than that, we added a bunch of pictures, um, which is new. I don't know if I have oh, a yeah. tutorial still. I think I do. Yeah, we have Cornelius. Yeah, yeah, we've uh, we've had a few uh, interesting comments about how Cornelius looks. <laughs> Glassell, I think, had the funniest one. <laughs> Let's just say, if he offers you candy, don't get in the van. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. we had an interesting one about the trade counselor picture too. Oh, is that the hot one? That is the hot one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Uh, oh, it's information. <laughs> yeah, after all the issues with the uh, trade counselor in the second beta, I thought it was uh, only fitting that she was the blonde one. Yeah. <laughs> It, the uh, construction counselor have has had some interesting uh, 
being said about her. Gordy has also made some interesting comments about the construction <laughs> counselor. She's got an Adam's apple. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're very PC, right? <laughs> totally. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Adam's apple. Everything's there. Every, everyone's included and represented. Re <laughs> yes. Represented. Yeah, everyone's represented in the, in the counselors. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, any woman that can uh, pick up heavy objects and, you know, construct stuff in cities you know, is going to have an Adam's apple or something. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the forearms on her. She's got to be beefy. <laughs> yeah, I do still need Actually, to work on reports more. I might just do they a do whole have front names. patch. Oh, yeah. Do they? Yeah, they do have names. I'm trying to remember what all of their names are. Um, I think that uh, the construction counselor is Antonia, and I think uh, the trade counselor is Julia, but I can't for the life of me remember what the other two guy's name, sorry. Antonia, huh? Antonia. <laughs> There's not going to be any um, option for genders for titles, right? Because they're already kind of gender neutral. Um, no, I don't think we'll be changing the titles, but I think um, eventually as we get game options in, we will probably give the option to, like, if you want to display that you're male or female, you can. Or if you don't want to, we can just say... Uh, Unspecified. So our titles aren't like other games, like where you had king and emperor that were very gender specific. Yeah, exactly. We're equal opportunity. I think, yeah, because I think in ancient Rome, the titles were kind of gender gender neutral. Yeah, there but, there actually were women in those positions in Rome. So yeah. So it was very gender neutral. Yeah, and, you know, it's, uh, I, you know, maybe, uh, we had talked about, um, you know, making them like tiaras or something instead of crowns as well. Eh. I, I think a crown is cooler. Yeah. Uh, if I had the choice between crown or tiara, I would totally go with crown. Oh. So. It's because you sympathize with the construction counselor. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Minxie has a question. When you queue buildings without resources, are they not automatically supposed to start building when the resources are available? Uh, they, they should. I they think, should. um, yeah, the, the whole queue with counselor thing, convert order thing is, uh, still a little bit flaky sometimes. Yeah, something more I need to work on. Yeah. But yes, they should, and they eventually will. And they were, um, I think I changed something. Thing. Yeah, they were working pretty good. So, see that one converted. <laughs> Demo effect. But yeah, I know that there's a, a problem with like uh, the convert resources button, uh, which is something I'd have to fix on a front end patch too. Okay. So maybe we'll play one of those for tomorrow or something. So okay. Yeah, we could do that. You know, and, and fix a bunch of the, uh, the issues. Probably something we're gonna have to do for world map and the uh, uh, crowns not showing too. It's gonna have to be front end. Okay. So sometime tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. You know, but all minor things and things that are easily worked around. Um, but still stuff yeah. that we need to get fixed. But the game is certainly uh, getting there pretty quickly. Um, you know, as soon as we uh, figure out a lot of the issues, it, it fixed things up. And uh, everything went a lot smoother. Yeah, it did. Actually, once the uh, kind of initial issues were out of the way, it uh, went very quiet, very fast. People were happy enough. 
Uh, it's always good when you see everybody talking shit to each other. Yeah. You know, if they're trolling each other instead of instead of the devs, the things are going well. Yeah, and, uh, you know, because that's what the game is about, is picking on people. And... Yes, it is. <laughs> Apocalyptic Endgame. That's uh, that basically our servers aren't persistent. So like uh, you're kind of working towards something, and then once you've won the thing, you move on to a new server. You don't just stay hanging out on the same server for years. Right. Yeah, Twenty so days after the third crown, server's gone. It just yeah. it comes to a complete end. So for yeah, for that world, it is like the apocalypse. Zag would like to know if it's a game or browser issues that the building icons sometimes don't update until you switch cities or refresh. The building icons? Um, like the hammer and chisel? Oh. You think um, that's what he means? No, that's. Uh, I've seen that happen too. That's a coder. Okay. That's something I need to work on some. All right, Proxy says that the defense counselor is randomly deleting the numbers that you plug in. Yeah, that is actually, um, we need to fix that. So uh, if you hit save on the defense counselor settings like once, then it'll save your new settings, but it uh, zeroes all the inputs in the defense counselor menu. So if you accidentally hit save a second time, um, it will like it, it take all of those values to be zero and set your, your defense counselor the second time that you hit save to zero. Oh dear. <laughs> so yeah, oh, we need to fix that. I I can see that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just um, yeah, what we, else we can do for it though? Because if you want to clear it, you know, maybe um, we just I actually it. have in our little book reports list um, the way that it should be, um, and we will be changing it to that. Um, so basically. Uh, it, like the inputs will keep the figures. So, like if you have you know two hundred k vanquishers um, that you've set your defense counselor to enlist, then that will stay in the input. And like even if you like you know move to a new city and like open up um, the defense counselor again, it'll like populate to that new city's settings. So the inputs will like already have what you want oh, in that city. Okay. So you yeah. want the inputs to automatically go into them by a set of zeros. Yeah, or like it. Yeah, exactly. That's easy enough. Okay. So yeah, and then uh, it means that like for someone who accidentally double clicks on the word save, that it doesn't uh, zero all of their hard work. Yeah, we can do that. Cool. That was Ella talking, not me, Anarchy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the Irish sounding one and uh, Addy is the American sounding one. <laughs> That's an easy enough. We can have that in for the, uh, the next Fernand patch. Cool. Too many A names, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Not helped by the fact that our names, our game names sound alike. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, um, I think everything's good, and uh, you know, we've got a lot of stuff still to fix, but it's mostly minor. Uh, if anybody else has any questions about stuff, uh, we can answer them. I know that a lot of people um, are concerned about dungeons, but uh, I think we populate them pretty quickly. Uh, basically, the way that dungeons work is, is it takes into account your city. Um, and the amount of you know troops that you have, and then kind of divides them by five or so, um, and that's how it determines what levels it is. And it doesn't guarantee that you're going to get that level. It just uh, creates a range of levels um, that should be around you, and then you have a certain amount based on that level uh, of dungeons that should be within your vicinity. Um, and so if you already have dungeons that are a smaller level and you've been hitting them, those dungeons will stay and it kind of takes a spot of any new dungeon. So I hope that kind of sheds some light on how it, how it works. So if you want dungeons to go away, either hit them and make them uh, disappear, because that'll make them disappear fast and add in new ones, or uh, 
make sure not to hit them at all and they will disappear within uh, 24 hours. Yeah, so if you see one that isn't disappearing, then that means that one of your neighbors is hitting it. And you can tell if somebody's hitting it by the progress. Yeah. Um, Nihonto said that um, he's had a couple of builds, like uh, upgrades in his queue that have randomly switched to demolishes once they got to the top of the queue. Yeah, that's uh, something I've been looking at working on. It's the same kind of issue we were having with the, uh, the town hall. So I'm thinking it might be a, uh, an issue with descending it to, uh, to the build or something. So I will uh, keep digging in and, and finding the root cause of it. Cool. And you know, it's not going to be instant either. So even if you have troops, it's not like you're going to instantly look up and, and see, uh, you know, a brand new dungeon at the you know perfect level, one square away from you. You know, it's kind of random and it, and it isn't going to be instant. So uh, it is a lot faster than other games. Um, considerably faster and there are considerably more dungeons for people to raid so yeah I do have the actual convert order um, showing the res amounts um, that's needed but only if you have them uh, for some reason when you disable a button it doesn't show tooltips anymore yeah, it's a uh, HTML. I've actually I've gone looking for a plugin to fix that, but one doesn't seem to exist. So um, I think we need to change the way we do disable buttons a bit to get it to work. I think uh, we can do that down the road, but uh, maybe when we have a bit more time, because we'll need to do it across all of the buttons on the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> um, we could always just make it so that it just uh, looks disabled without actually being disabled. Exactly. Yeah, that's what we will need to do. But um, we'll need to do it in a couple of places. There's a, a couple of buttons throughout the game that we have the same issue with. That uh, particularly when they're disabled, they'll need tooltips. The way that the caverns spawn, that's going to stay the same, right? Yeah, it's uh, it should. Um, you know, I'm always open to suggestions if anybody's got a better way of doing it. But um, you know, it's either going to stay this way or you know maybe starts uh, taking into account different things, but, you know, I'm not, you know, it's not set in stone. But I think it does pretty good now. It's just, you know, not as good as some people would like. And, you know, you, you can't have instant dungeons right next to you at the perfect level at all times because, you know, it's a moving target. Yeah, I mean, we can't have everybody who wants a dungeon having that exact level of the exact resource that they want right, right next, next to them. them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, and we actually spawn a good bit of bosses. Um, bosses spawn quite frequently. Um, so if there's not bosses near you, that's because somebody's faster than you. <laughs> yeah. Because there's a yeah. lot of bosses and they generate... We have a lot more bosses than um, other games did. Yeah. And they show up a lot faster. Another forums thing is you can't delete threads when someone once someone's made it. Yeah, I think I just need to dig in and, and really do a lot of work on the forums. Um, I just haven't seen it as uh, as important a lot, as a lot of other stuff uh, ahead of it. Um, Nahanto says that auto build is sometimes going really slow, like in between builds even if you have plenty of resources, it takes a while for it to pick up the next build. Uh, for the I've seen that too, yeah. Uh, I've seen that okay. too. Okay. Well, I can see if uh, there's some way to speed it up or something. Like, sometimes it's taking twenty up to 20 seconds for it to pick up the next build. Uh, well. Which isn't a huge deal, but you know, if, if uh, you got a lot of cities, cities building that turns into quite a bit of time. Uh, yeah, but it works differently. Um, if you're just sitting there, you should be building the building yourself anyways. Um, it works differently than if you, I mean, it doesn't have that 20 second pause if you're not in the city, if that makes sense. 
It's not like it adds 20 seconds in. Um, in between, that's more or less a transfer when you're actually in the city. Um, so it's it's working faster um, in the other cities that you're not actually in. It's just uh, when you're sitting in the city, it might take that long to uh, to find one and, and send it in. India asks, um, I thought this was working actually. Um, can we delete threads in a forum that someone else has made? Uh, if you're a leader, you should be able to, I think. Yeah, I thought so. Isn't that the way it works? Yeah. Anarchy wants to know if um, we can add Denari as a tooltip, like the balance, instead of having to open the item page. Um, yeah. I guess we, maybe we could have it as a tooltip on the items button. I mean, we could always add it up to the top bar too. Yeah, I kind of like not having it there though, because we are kind of um, trying to be a not pay to win game. I like that it doesn't really feature yeah. in our initial UI kind of. Uh, have people been using the PayPal? I haven't heard any uh, complaints about it, so it must be working. Yeah, it wasn't there for a short period yesterday, but it seems to be fine now. Uh, but I mean, nobody's had any payments that uh, didn't get the denary form or anything. No. Um, we had that one that kept saying that it wouldn't take their payment method, but I think you got that person fixed up, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I'm just more concerned about, you know, when the uh, purchase of denary happens and when the... Uh, funds actually show up on the uh, the game um, which I'm pretty sure I would hear about pretty quickly oh yeah I think yeah, it's I pretty think so. immediate uh, lots of people saying it works great so happy days yeah <laughs> but uh, I'm happy that we switched over to PayPal as the main method um, and PayPal just came out with a brand new kind of uh, interface that allows a whole bunch of different kind of payment methods um, so we might uh switch into that eventually. Yes, Glass, we can do that. We can put the hotkeys in the description on the tooltips. You know, it wouldn't be bad eventually to have some little, like, uh, transparent side window you could open that shows all of the buildings and the keys, because I don't remember them either. So if you wanted to use them, you could, you know, click on some little arrow here in the bottom corner and then on the, uh, on the right side, you know, maybe like a little list of the buildings and their tooltips could show up or in their keys yeah. could show up. We could do that. Uh, no, no, the pay by subway option will still be there. It's just, um, in alternative payments now. And I did notice that a lot of people have been using subway gift cards as well as dollar <laughs> general gift cards so no that option will still be there <laughs> it's also good for international people who can't use paypal um because there's a lot of options there uh it's just our yeah. preferred method um will be paypal just because uh we like it better and it's easier it's not as messy yeah Item buy is super laggy, you know, Hunter says. Uh, I, think yeah. people... I, I think he was getting lag in general. So if you're getting lag in general, then yeah, <clears throat> pretty much everything will be laggy. Um, I would like to eventually figure out why some people get lag and some people don't. Um, but it's a work in progress that we've been working on. Okay. You know, some things we can't um, help, you know, like people's connections and things like that. But, you know, try to make the game as lean and as fast as possible. So it works for as many people as possible. And other than that, unless anybody else has any questions, I guess our... Time is up. Just see there quickly. So I posted an alliance announcements there now. See if you are able to delete one of the threads. 
that I've posted. I appear to be able to. Um. No. Doesn't look like it. No, the actual thread, like inside. Oh, inside? Yeah. Like the um, comment, comment in the thread. Yes, oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. <laughs> uh, it didn't let me delete the thread, though, so that is not working. Okay, that's something we need. So, yeah, like I said, I'll probably dig in there sometime in the next week or so. You know, in between... Um, yeah, I'd like to get more of the uh, reports and stuff fixed. World map. Um, crown's not showing. Yeah, all the little things. Then I can work on forums, and then eventually when I, uh, you know, I can start really adding things to overviews, which, you know, I've got a lot of plans for it. So, thank you guys for uh, tuning in to our weekly stream. Uh, thank you for playing the game. I hope Everybody has fun. Um, I hope some people don't have fun because other people are having fun at their expense. <laughs> yes. Yes, thank you, everyone. And um, we'll see you next week. Thank you for bearing with us yesterday during the uh, login time. And uh, we'll see you next week. And it was helpful, so your sacrifices will make the game better. Yes, thank you. So, see you guys next week.